Hey guys, welcome back to Shareproof. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is another one in our sunscreen review series and I am going to be reviewing today four sunscreens that were released this year and interestingly, all of them are green. And when I say green, I mean literally the color of the packaging. <laughs> They're all in that green and white family. I have three Korean sunscreens and one Japanese sunscreen. And I think I will be covering almost all skin types with these formulations. If you are interested in this video, definitely keep on watching. Before we get started for each of these sunscreens, I will cover the ingredients, the UV filters, anything that's special in terms of the formulations, the texture, the feel, the wear, the finish who it's recommended for, as well as the price points. So remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely leave a comment below if you found this video helpful. So I'm going to start with the most affordable one. By the way, all of these are actually quite affordable, but this one is actually the cheapest. This one is 10 US dollars, and this is from a brand called Frudia, and this is their Green Grape Sebum Control Cooling Sun Gel. Now, something that's going to be common across all these sunscreens is that they are all SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses that means they have both excellent UVB coverage and UVA coverage. So this sunscreen is described as a moisturizing sun gel that offers broad spectrum UV protection without leaving a white cast. It is formulated with green grape extract as the name says to hydrate the skin but also it contains something called anti-sebum P to reduce excess sebum production. It is a lightweight formula that feels comfortable on the skin and I got really excited because of the name because it says sebum control. You guys know that I'm oily acne prone as well as because it contained this ingredient called anti-sebum sebum P. Now just in case you've never heard about it, this is an ingredient that is actually patented and it contains a couple different components. It contains evening primrose flower extract, long leaf pine extract and kitsu root extract. <laughs> that one was a little bit difficult to pronounce. But this particular patented ingredient is known for its effects on poor tightening and sebum control. So that definitely attracted me. But I have some thoughts about the sunscreen. This one is a hybrid sunscreen. That means that it has both chemical and mineral UV filters. It is alcohol free. It is not fragrance free, however, and there are some other interesting ingredients in this formula. It also contains niacinamide, which is a great ingredient, not just for brightening the skin, but really an important ingredient when you want to control oil water balance in the skin. So that's why it becomes very important for many skin types. It also contains adenosine, which is an ingredient that you find in a lot of well aging products that's also brightening. And it also contains several different antioxidants like vitamin E, grape extract, and some others. Now, as you can see, it comes in a tube packaging. Because of the color, it's actually really difficult to read what's on the packaging, but we could get past that. It also contains 50 mils of product, which is the standard amount that you usually find in a lot of sunscreens. The texture of this is a lightweight cream. It absorbs into the skin very, very easily. And although it is a hybrid sunscreen because it contains titanium dioxide, I find that there's absolutely no white cast. And even if there's any, it disappears literally in seconds. Most skin tones is definitely going to get away with this particular sunscreen. This one retails for around US $10, which is really good, especially because most of the sunscreens on the market, they're usually in the 15 to 20 US range. So that is quite a good price. Now, this, as I mentioned, is not fragrance free. It literally smells like grape, like grape soda. It has a very sweet smell. So if you know that you are put off by sweet smells, this one may not be for you. However, the scent dissipates really, really quickly. It's actually quite pleasant. Not what I expect from a sunscreen. Like I have never had a sunscreen that smelled like this before. So I, it actually kind of took me back to childhood days. That's the kind of scent I guess children will probably really, really enjoy this one. But it's important to mention because that could definitely shock you the first time you actually try this. But like I said, the scent doesn't remain. And I find that like after five minutes, the scent is completely gone. Now let's talk about the look of this on the skin and the wear. So as you will see in the demo, the finish of this is actually quite glowy on my skin. I actually thought that because of the name that it might have a matte finish, but it doesn't. It's a very moisturizing and hydrating sunscreen. But after wearing this for several weeks, I have come to the conclusion that that anti c one p is actually working in the skin. Because usually when I wear sunscreen that has this type of finish, in a couple hours, I can see the oils really coming 
through and by the end of the day in some cases I could be a hot mess but that's not the case with this sunscreen so it's actually doing something in terms of controlling the sebum that's being produced by the skin throughout the day so my skin actually remains looking almost the same way it does in terms of how the sunscreen settles after the first 10 minutes that's a little bit strange to me um, a little bit unusual because I have not really seen that much with a lot of sunscreens with this type of finish but when I'm wearing the sunscreen though I do skip moisturizer because it does contain several moisturizing ingredients this can be worn under makeup although it would not be my personal choice because I do have oily skin but it wears well it does not feel greasy it absorbs really nicely into the skin but it leaves the skin with a glowy look if you are anywhere from normal to combination skin, I think this would be a good budget-friendly sunscreen for you to try. Next is another very well-priced sunscreen. And this is from a brand that has really got my attention because I have really loved everything that I've tried from them so far. And that's the brand B-Lab. And this is their Matcha Hydrating Real Sunscreen. This one, like I mentioned, is also SPF 50+, plus, PA4+. Pluses. This one is also a 50 ml tube. Again, very similar in terms of the volume that you get in most sunscreens today. Now, this one is actually described as a hydrating sunscreen that again offers very high UV protection and soothing care while leaving a non-greasy finish. And this one is actually an all chemical filter sunscreen. So immediately we can tell that there will be again zero white cast on the skin. Now this one while being fragrance free and essential oil free actually does contain alcohol and alcohol in this formula has really helped the texture of the sunscreen. And in fact, out of all the four sunscreens that I'm sharing on today, this one has the texture that I love the most. I love, love, love the texture. This sunscreen, just like the Frudia, also contains niacinamide and it also contains adenosine. And this is one of the things that I've mentioned before that I love about Korean sunscreens and Asian sunscreens in general. They're not just put in the filters. They try to make them as cosmetically elegant as possible. And they also put a lot of other skin loving, skin soothing, skin identical ingredients that are beneficial for the skin. One of the particular filters that is used in this sunscreen is Parasol SLX, which actually gives really nice sensorial properties to the sunscreen and also helps to make it not as shiny or as greasy looking as some others. So let's talk about the texture like I mentioned. This one is more of a lightweight gel cream type formula. It absorbs again really nicely into the skin. In fact, this one disappears into the skin within seconds. There is no white cast. There is no added fragrance, but there is some type of smell here. I actually like it. It's pleasant to me, but again, the scent that is in here, which is probably just coming from the ingredients, dissipates really, really quickly. Now, just like the Frudia, this one also does have a glowy finish on the skin, not overly dewy. It's more like a glowy, natural type of look on the skin. It's not greasy at all. It's kind of similar to the finish that I get probably with the TM sunscreen that you guys know that I love. It is super lightweight. You don't feel any tackiness on the skin. This one as well, there is no pilling. It wears well under makeup. This sunscreen, I would actually recommend for normal combination and even oily skin types. For those of you who love that nice lit from within, lovely light glow on your skin even though you're oily this one is a really nice sunscreen and because it is so lightweight you do not feel it on your skin at all now i will say however that my eyes in general have been extremely sensitive the last couple of weeks because of the sahara dust so i do find that on some days my eyes might feel a little bit extra sensitive when i do wear this sunscreen it doesn't burn or irritate but out of all the ones that i'm mentioning today i do get a little bit of that experience but because I know that my eyes have been a little bit more sensitive, what I have been doing with all my sunscreens is I have just been applying a mineral sunscreen around my eyes and my regular sunscreen all over my face just until the season passes. And I'm kind of over this hump. Now look who is in this video. This is a new sunscreen from Some By Me in their True Seeker line. This is the Aqua Carmen sunscreen, not to be confused with the renewed mineral Carmen sunscreen, which I absolutely do not like. And you all know that the previous version of this sunscreen was one of my all time favorites. So you can see the packaging is very similar but this one is a taller slimmer tube so don't confuse them this is the one that i'm talking about and just before i get into the review i'm going to tell you that i absolutely love this sunscreen so i did already mention the name this is the aqua common sunscreen again spf 50 plus pa4 pluses high uv protection and all of that it is a 50 ml tube this one retails for around 16 us dollars and it is described as a lightweight sunscreen fitted with broad spectrum protection the formula contains skin soothers like sika aka centella asiatica aloe vera leaf extract 
and white water lily extract and it would not leave a white cast. They actually recommend it as well for people with sensitive skin. This one as well is an all chemical filter sunscreen unlike the other one from Sun by Me in their True Seeker sunscreen line which is a completely mineral sunscreen. This one has several chemical filters including Uvasorb HEB which was a filter that I shared with you guys that is extremely photo stable for like 24 hours plus it's actually used in a lot of formulations that tend to be water resistant and it is a filter that is useful for helping to stabilize other chemical filters that are not as stable this one is alcohol free however it does contain essential oils specifically lavender and limonene so there is a scent to this from those essential oils so if you are sensitive to those i'm sorry but this is not going to be one for you if you don't have sensitivities to those specific essential oils that I mentioned. However, this is definitely a sunscreen that you might want to take a look at. Beside the UV filters that I mentioned, some special ingredients that are also in here are just like the others. Niacinamide is also present in this sunscreen. It contains panthenol, which is really nice and hydrating to the skin. Aloe extract, as I mentioned before. But this one also contains not just Centella Asiatica, but specific compounds from Centella Asiatica that have been pulled out and specifically put in this formulation, like Madecasocide, which is a compound of Centella Asiatica that's very, very helpful for skin healing and wound repair on the skin if you're acne prone but not sensitive to those specific essential oils this will be a very good option for you this one is a lightweight cream lotion type texture it absorbs into the skin really nicely and this one also leaves a glowy finish on the skin um let me just tell you before i review the other one none of these are matte none <laughs> In fact, this one actually has a little bit more glow on the skin than the B-Lab, as you will see in my video inserted. But even though it is a little bit glowier than that one, it does not wear bad on my skin at all. I actually do like how this wears. And I'm going to tell you that in general, if I find a sunscreen just looks too glowy on my skin, all I do is I just sweep a little bit of a translucent powder over it that just takes down the shine to the level that I want and I can wear the sunscreen with no issues. I do this, however, only after about 10 to 15 minutes after application of the sunscreen. And that's really important to allow your sunscreen to set and form an even film on the skin so that by the time you're applying your powder, you're not actually going to disturb your film of UV protection. Because all the filters in here are chemical filters, we can assume that there will be no white cast and there's absolutely none. This one also blends into the skin really quickly. It's also fine under makeup. I did not get pilling with this. No issues with the hairline. No issues in terms of sensitivity around my eyes with this one. This one's actually a sunscreen that I could actually recommend from dry all the way up to oily. Oily if you do like that glowy look. And you could also try that hack that I mentioned with regards to dusting over translucent powder. But again, if you are sensitive to the essential oils that I mentioned, then this one would not be the one for you. And the last sunscreen today is a Japanese one and this is from Omi and Omi is a brand that I am starting to like when it comes to sunscreens but this is their Verdeo UV Moisture Gel again SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses this one out of all the sunscreens that I'm mentioning today is actually water and sweat resistant now this sunscreen is actually a renewal sunscreen meaning that they have revamped the formula and that tends to happen a lot with Japanese sunscreens sometimes they update their sunscreens every year or every two years so I actually do have the previous version which is this one I actually didn't review this one I still have a lot in this bottle I haven't finished it because this one is extremely glowy and dewy on my skin a little bit too much for me if you are dry you may have really liked this one but this formula is now being phased out of the market because of this one and this one is actually available in two sizes this one is around 220 ml and they also do have it in a similar packaging like this which is around 80 ml and i think that more sunscreens should do that and it should be a crime for sunscreens to not have bigger bottles like this but you know that's just me just saying <laughs> This particular sunscreen is said to be blended with botanical ingredients like aloe vera, green tea, sika again, which is Centella Asiatica, ginger root, and other types of flower extracts to help protect the skin from external aggressors. It is also said to be a gentle and mild sunscreen that is suitable for sensitive skin, including children from one year old and up so this is a sunscreen that you can definitely use on the entire family it's a sunscreen that's also marketed not just for face but also for body this one is alcohol free fragrance free and essential oil free so i guess you could understand why they recommend it for sensitive skin as well as for children this one is a hybrid sunscreen that means it contains both chemical and mineral filters the mineral filter in here is titanium dioxide and all the chemical filters similarly to all the other sunscreens that I mentioned in today's video are the newer generation filters so they tend to be a lot more photostable as well and less irritating on the skin compared to some of the filters that we're accustomed to. 
the texture of the sunscreen is a little bit closer to the B Lab in terms of being that lightweight gel type almost liquidy type of texture it blends into the skin seamlessly and although it does have that mineral filter of titanium dioxide i have zero white cast on this i do have friends with much deeper skin tones and they use this and they experience no white cast with this particular sunscreen as well there is no added fragrance it does smell a little bit like sunscreen you know that typical sunscreen smell but it's not overpowering and again it dissipates very quickly i love the fact that this sunscreen comes in multiple sizes because i actually prefer to buy the bigger sizes and honestly when you do work it out ounce per ounce you are getting more bang for your buck because this big size is around 25 us dollars and this contains four times the amount you would probably get in a regular size sunscreen no white cast on me it does have a dewy finish but this particular one i actually do like wearing under makeup because one of the ingredients in it is a type of silicone which tends to be an ingredient that is used in a lot of makeup primers because it does have that nice smoothing effect on the skin and honestly i have no difficulty recommending this one for all skin types including sensitive skin once you like that finish then this is definitely a sunscreen to keep on your radar guys thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of today's video you guys know that when i'm doing these sunscreen reviews i like to do deep dives so that you can get the information that is going to be necessary to help you make the best choice in terms of a sunscreen for you if this video was helpful please remember to like it subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down below let me know what sunscreen you guys have been enjoying these days and what sunscreen you probably want me to review i do have a couple requests so those will be coming up soon but stay tuned and i'll see you guys in another video soon take care bye